when we think of kit models, we normally think of cars or race cars or hot rods, or we think about military uh, ships, planes, trucks, tanks, science fiction, real space, even figures and figurines, historic and fictional. We even think about kit bashes. But when we think about television and movie tie-ins, we tend to think of more established network TV shows or major blockbuster movies. What we don't tend to think about is gangsters. And there was a movie made called The Highwaymen with Woody Harrelson and Kevin Costner playing the men that hunted down Bonnie and Clyde. Well, my brother sent me a really interesting video for anybody who may be a gun buff or a history buff about the making of that movie. The, it's done by Joey Dillon, who was the armorer who handled all of the firearms. And he gets into a very extensive discussion about the actual guns that were used and the Hollywood guns that were used. It's also the only movie I've ever seen that mentions the Colt Monitor, which was basically Colt's answer to the Browning Automatic Rifle, although it was more optimized for law enforcement. Now, I'm not about to glorify gangsters, but I do think since they are a part of history, it's interesting to see that at least they are represented a little bit in kit models. The gangster car kit model is obviously just a reboxing of an existing kit, and judging by the bullet holes and the girl sitting on the bumper, it's clearly inspired by Bonnie and Clyde, two people who, if you're going to study history, you know do not need to be venerated in any way, but they're still historical figures, and lots of modelers like to do historical figures. They have some specialty companies that do a couple of gangsters. They do Bonnie and Clyde and Al Capone, probably the biggest names in American gangster history. They also have a lot of sort of generic and uh, fictitious characters that are made by a few specialty resin companies and some that are even more along the lines of fantasy. But on the flip side of the coin, they also have some kit models, going back to television tie-ins, that represent the untouchables. So, you know, the good guys are getting a little love also. And there's even one kit by AMT of an early police car. Although I never saw a police car painted yellow, but okay, why not? There's actually some advantages to that. When I watched that video, and I'm a gun buff, so I found it all very interesting, but I also thought, you know, that's kind of an era in history that's largely overlooked. It's not something you see a lot of people model. I actually saw the Bonnie and Clyde death car at a casino in Nevada, and... I don't know, there's a little bit of irony that these big bad gangsters death car wound up in a casino for people to gawk at. I think there's some kind of poetic justice in that. I don't even know anybody who's done a gangster scene or diorama or anything like that. It, it's kind of out there a little bit, but it could be interesting. I thought about maybe doing a diorama of the attack, but after watching the movie, I was thinking, you know, even given as many sometimes pretty violent uh, war dioramas as we do this is still just kind of on a different level so i think i'll pass on that one it's possible you might actually even get asked to take it down if you did an accurate depiction i will say one thing about the movie i really appreciate all of the detail they went into but i also like that joey talks about the things that are inaccurate in the movie which were done for concessions to the camera to be honest with you as you guys know about me i really have trouble cutting up a good kit and I think I'd have a little trouble inflicting all that damage on a good model I'm just kind of like isn't there some way we could save it just paint the bullet holes on there but that wouldn't look very real oh by the way just as a side note this was an actual ambush I don't think they made any attempt to take them alive because they committed so many acts of egregious violence in the past and they pretty much just lit them up almost like a military ambush and after it, when they went through the car, they found an arsenal in it, including three Browning automatic rifles. So that's one reason Hamer spread his men out, so that if Clyde was able to get the, to one of the BARs and open fire on him, he couldn't cut down a bunch of guys with one swath of fire. I think they were actually about, I think the guys were actually about 10 feet apart. So I think you'll enjoy the video that was done by the armor, and I found it an interesting movie. They definitely caught the feel of the Depression era. It's something different for model builders, and although I certainly don't want to glorify gangsters, it is a part of history, and we love to model history. Well, guys, take care of yourselves. We'll talk at you later, and as always, model on.